Good morning, folks. Yesterday we saw a filament release from the departing limb, but there was so much more to this event than that. Utter solar calm was shattered when CME started firing just ahead of Earth's orbital position. It's to the right in this image. Eight CMEs in three days. Four of them I would classify as major. We're watching this unfold here on Soho Lasco C2, and we're going to take a closer look at some of the coronagraph footage and evaluate the expert predictions compared to our own analysis and characterize just how powerful these bursts probably were. Only the major CMEs are seen on the C3 feed, three at one time, and then a fourth that released shortly thereafter. The three are easily discernible coming out together with the last one at the end of the series. I want to zoom in on the northern portion of the main ejecta. I have seen every CME coronagraph image from SOHO, and most of the stereo coronagraph captures as well, and I've never seen such a dense filament of plasma. Amidst the enormous cloud of particles is a shrouded rope of material five Earths wide, and is the sort of thing I'm glad is heading away from Earth rather than towards it. Folks, if Earth was in the line of fire of this full uptick, there could be major problems. We saw multiple explosions that dwarf what's already caused ground disruptions at Earth this summer. Four of them, to be exact. Now Noah's Enlil spiral shows the densest part of two different CMEs heading at Earth. Well, not only did I show you that the densest portion is heading away from Earth, but there is no halo or anything else to suggest that any part of these eruptions is coming our way. Now, while I recognize the danger presented by these blasts had Earth been in the line of fire, I stand with NASA's analysis this morning, almost a complete miss from the CMEs. I doubt even glancing blows are likely. Otherwise, it was a relatively calm star. We did indeed get a large solar flare last night, but it came from our departing limb spots on the south. At spaceweathernews.com, we can see that an M5.5 solar flare occurred near the change of day UTC, and you can see it here in 131 angstroms. And with that group departing, and no magnetic mixing in the sunspots up north, the flare danger is dropping fast. Gamma bursts, however, are another story. We took two yesterday, one from Serpens, one from Cepheus. Let's look more at the solar wind from yesterday. That density and speed rise continued and remains elevated. We are seeing instability in Earth's shield. No geomagnetic storms yet, despite the magnetometers and electron flux, showing a significant space weather impact. Folks, I've been commenting on the weaker coronal hole magnetism and a weakened earthquake period because of it, but now there is red coming in on the north, and that belongs to the incoming coronal holes. These coronal holes are strong and will cause more seismicity than the previous weak one. Top stories today include a south pole temperature reading from Rosetta looking at 67p article linked for you below, along with a video on the Southern England sinkhole, took out utilities, spurned fears of more to come. The ESA put out an incredible video detailing their study of surface wind variations during Pacific Tropical Storm events. Excellent video and explanation linked below. Last, Weather Channel reporting more record snow in Alaska, shattering previous September records by more than should be meteorologically possible. Top tropical events of note are a weak system leaving the Philippines and heading west. And some excellent news. While the Bahamas is getting smashed by Joaquin, almost all forecast models now show the system missing the U.S. east coast. Can't complain about that. The countdown to observing the frontier continues. The venue, hotel, and many nearby are sold out, but there are still rooms in the Berg and tickets to the event. Come see us. And website members, you got that deeper look addendum to episode 81, the planetary geometry from October is posted as well as episode 82, and there's a challenge at the end of that for the keenest among you. Scandinavia now seeing storm winds from the west while the Mediterranean still holds that low. A convergence from an Antarctic low is approaching southwest Australia. We're going to turn on the precipitable water, go around the world, and follow up with shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.